Hello, welcome to McGuffey's online tutor. Today's lesson is from the third eclectic reader, lesson 7, the truant. Let's begin with the new words for this lesson. If you have a pen and paper, please write the words down. Falsely, contrary to fact or truth, attend, to be present, truant, one who is absent without permission especially from school. Conduct. To lead or guide. Therefore. For that reason or cause consequently or hence. Guilty. Responsible for an offence or misdeed. Haste. Rapidity of action or motion. Regular. Customary, usual, or normal. Struggled. Strenuous effort. Ignorant. Lacking education or knowledge. I hope you wrote down all the words. Now, let's begin our lesson. Listen carefully for the new words and the context in which they are used. The truant. James Brown was ten years old when his parents sent him to school. It was not far from his home, and therefore they sent him by himself. But, instead of going to school, he was in the habit of playing truant. He would go into the fields, or spend his time with idle boys. But this was not all. When he went home, he would falsely tell his mother that he had been to school, and had said his lessons very well. One fine morning, his mother told James to make haste home from school, for she wished, after he had come back, to take him to his aunt's. But, instead of minding her, he went off to the water, where there were some boats. There he met plenty of idle boys. Some of these boys, found that James had money, which his aunt had given him. And he was led by them to hire a boat, and to go with them, upon the water. Little did James think of the danger into which he was running. Soon the wind began to blow and none of them knew how to manage the boat. For some time, they struggled against the wind and the tide. At last, they became so tired that they could row no longer. A large wave upset the boat, and they were all thrown into the water. Think of James Brown, the truant, at this time. He was far from home, known by no one. His parents were ignorant of his danger. He was struggling in the water, on the point of being drowned. Some men, however, saw the boys, and went out to them in a boat. They reached them just in time to save them from a watery grave. They were taken into a house, where their clothes were dried. After a while, they were sent home to their parents. James was very sorry for his conduct and he was never known to be guilty of the same thing again. He became regular at school, learned to attend to his books, and, above all, to obey his parents perfectly. To obey perfectly is an interesting end to this lesson. The word perfect has several meanings. I believe in this context it means to obey in a more mature manner. Such an educational story indeed. It reminds me a bit of the story of Jonah. Jonah tried to be a truant also. He tried to hide from God in a boat. God created a storm and Jonah ended up in the belly of a great fish for three days. You really can't hide from God. I believe that is the point of the story. Remember how James lied to his parents. After disobeying his mother, James went to the idle boys. They ended up using his money in order to rent a boat. A very bad idea. I believe that God caused the waters to be rough, like in the story of Jonah, so that the boys would fall into the water and teach them a lesson. You may be able to trick your parents, but you will not be able to trick God. Always remember, to fear God is the beginning of wisdom and growth, and maturity.
God wants growth and, with His grace, He will help you to stay on the right path to maturity. This is the end of our lesson, and I hope you visit us again at mcgfusonlinetutor.com for more lessons and worksheets. Goodbye.